makes the first wearable device that lets you choose your mood. And with me is the CEO, Jonas Stern, to explain how this, first of all, let's just see it, okay? So I'll hold it up. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about this in depth, but let's talk about the wellness market in general. How big is the wellness market? The wellness market is, is it's immense. It's uh, almost $5 trillion. And it breaks down into a bunch of different categories. Wearables alone are almost $100 billion. And they're becoming more, po more popular. People are wear getting used to wearables. You know, the thing about wearables, which is we find so compelling, is the vast majority 95% of wearables on the market are basically monitors, right? So you think about Whoop and you think about Fitbit or Garmin or the Apple Watch. They're basically monitors that are giving you back feedback, biofeedback about how your body's doing, yeah. how many REM cycles you do, or you know what your heart rate is. They're precious few that actually do something for you. So this is just, you know, most of the wearables are reading things. We're the other side of the coin where we actually help you optimize your wellness. Okay, so you have to tell me, how does this work? So I, I tried it, and we'll talk about that in a second. I put it around my neck, mm -hmm. and more for the hour that you're supposed to wear it. So yep. how, does, how does it work? So basically, and I'm not a scientist, but um, what I can explain to you basically is every compound that we ingest, think coffee, think nicotine, think CBD, every one of those compounds is made up of molecules. Every one of those molecules has a unique digital signature. That's what the scientists figured out. If you will, they sing a little song. And the song that they sing is received or heard by the bioreceptors in your cells. And I know that sounds really weird, but if I would have told you five years ago that you could charge a phone without plugging it in, would you believe me? Or that you could broadcast a signal without wires? your body works on signals exactly the same way. And when okay. these compounds are present and they sing their little song to your brain or to cells in your body, they know it's present. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna tell you my story. So I had a long list of things to do on Sunday. I had to write a speech, I had to do a proposal, I had to get my work done for Monday. There was like four kind of big things I had to do, very unmotivated. I was like, I'm just gonna try this. So I put it on, I did the email mastery because I knew we were doing the interview and I got done with everything early. Okay, so I don't know like if this is a psychological thing or what, but I, I wanna give it a few more tries, but. The number one use, so you just nailed the number two use for uh -huh. the product, which is focus. Okay. Focus and attention. If you think about the things that you would otherwise need to do to gain focus or attention, drink coffee, smoke cigarettes, uh -huh. take a pill of some sort, all of those things are attached with all kinds of negative side effects. Mm. You don't want to be doing that to your body. You can just simply play the blend that yeah. gives you the same effect without any side effects. And that's the beauty of the product. The number one use of the product is sleep. Sleep, okay. 60%, well, I too. Yeah, 60 <laughs> of Americans uh -huh. can't sleep at night. They either can't fall asleep or they can't stay asleep. That was my problem. And the reason I got involved with the product and with the company is I tried it and I slept like a baby. Interesting, okay, I'm gonna try that one too. Because there, were, there was creativity and the email mastery that I did and the sleep and like meditation. And there were quite a few yeah. different applications on there. How do you monetize this technology? Well, it's kind of like a, a two-step. We sell the device, so the device basically is a delivery mechanism for the blends, that's the content. Um, and then we charge a subscription fee. Um, if you want access, right now we've got 25 blends. Like you said, they're all lifestyle brands, blends, relax, do work, be focused. And if you want access to all of them, uh, there's a subscription. Um, but two blends come bundled with the, okay. the device. And what is your sales strategy? Um, a variety of different um, distribution. We have a big direct-to-consumer strategy. To date, all of our growth, and again, extremely compelling for me coming in as the CEO, has been word of mouth. People who use the product come back to us and they tell their friends that it mm -hmm. has effectively changed their lives. They're more focused, they're able to control their sleep patterns. We work with professional athletes, with entertainers, with people in business. They're our best salespeople. But as we look to scale the business, a comprehensive direct-to-consumer strategy, um, a strategy where we're gonna be having the product uh, fulfilled through third-party retail, um, and a lot of people are now starting to create blends of their own. Hmm. Think Spotify okay. for moods. 
they're starting to create blends on our platform and they're bringing their uh, followers uh, oh, to the platform. Oh, interesting. Well, I did tell some people about it, and Thank I you. promised I would try it a couple more times for, you know, just make sure it wasn't some kind of weird thing. But I tell you, I mean, it really did. I, I was done earlier than I ever have been with all that work I had to do. What about your gross margins on sales? Uh, gross margins are strong, um, about 70% on the product itself, which gives us lots of latitude to participate with uh, third parties where we can share some of the revenue. And then of course, the SaaS or subscription, that's a nice high margin business. So those two things together, uh, you know, really are the, the undercurrents of a business model that can scale quite profitably. Okay, and your long-term strategy? In the short term, it's all about devices and content. Okay. In the long term, it's about building this capability into other products. Think car. Hmm. You're driving down the highway at night, and you're falling asleep, you know, it's usually a little bit of ACDC and a big gulp to stay away. <laughs> Roll down the window, yeah. <laughs> but what if it's built into the seat back of your car? Hmm. Your seat back of your car can do temperature, can do massage, why can't it give you caffeine? Well, the answer is it could. So we really see building happy and happy technology into other people's user experiences and other people's products. Okay, very interesting. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. You. I'll keep you up to date on my other experiences with it. Appreciate Thanks, it. Jonah.